Hello everybody and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. It's been a long time since I've posted anything Ark related. I believe the last Ark video was the build battle and if anyone's interested in seeing more of those then let me know in the comments below. So the plan for today's video is to go over one of the more irritating aspects of the game for a solo player and that is of course taming your first Quetzal. Now there's a couple ways in which you can do this and they all have their own merits and downsides. So I'm just going to cover my two preferred methods. One of which is relatively easy, and the second takes a bit more work beforehand. Method 1. This is by far the easiest way to solo tame a Quetz. All you need to do is level up and unlock the grappling hook and crossbow, as well as make a few parachutes to be safe. Then tame yourself a Pteranodon, ideally one not so low a level that a couple missed arrows will knock it out, but it doesn't need to be anything amazing either, level 60 or so. First, what you do is locate a Quetzal, simple enough. Then you want to dismount from your Pteranodon midair and use the parachute straight away. Then you fire your grappling hook at your Pteranodon so you're suspended beneath it. Assuming you have done all of this correctly, you can now begin tranking the Quetzal. When it flies away, you'll want to use the comma key to tell your Pteranodon where to go. If you keep telling it to fly after the Quetz, you should, for the most part, be able to keep it in range and keep hitting it with Tranks as often as you can until it passes out. Once it does, get back on your Pteranodon as fast as possible and get down to the ground ready to protect your now unconscious bird from any land-based predators. And finally, you now tame it. Build a pen to protect it and get some meat or kibble in there. Enjoy your new Quetzal. Method 2. This method takes considerably more work. What you want to do is first tame yourself a griffin. You can do this by creating a griffin trap out of pillars and ceilings with a dino gate on the end, connecting it to a keypad. You bait the griffin in and trank it out, then tame it. Once you have your lovely new griffin, you will once again want to head out and find a Quetz. Once you do, however, you do not need to dismount as with the griffin, you can equip your rifle or crossbow whilst in the air, and simply follow the Quetzal around the skies until it passes out. The added advantage of this method is it permits you to carry more building supplies to protect the Quetz, as the griffin has more weight. It is also better in a fight, so you will have better luck protecting it on the ground. The downside to this method, however, is because you are riding the griffin, you will at some point, most likely before the Quetzal passes out, run out of stamina and need to land. This likely will not be an issue, but you will lose some small amount of torpor on the Quetz whilst recovering the ground. Alright then everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this beginner's guide to taming the Quetzalcoatl. One of the most useful mounts in the game. If there are any other guides or videos you would like to see me cover, then please, as always, let me know in the comment section below. Bye everybody.